Welcome to the Echo Driving School channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a test that happened a few weeks ago. It is a new test uh, route uh, from the Mitcham Test Centre. I say new, um, parts of it have been covered uh, obviously by um, my previous videos. Um, so this is an extension of, uh, of that. Um, so obviously I'll be talking through uh, some of the things that the uh, student has done uh, it's on a rainy day, so obviously we can talk about um, how things are meant to be done uh, when it's raining. Um, so um, as the student proceeds coming out of the test centre, um, the examiner has uh, requested the student to turn left. So the, the student was a good drive. Unfortunately, he didn't succeed. And you'll see in the video why he didn't succeed, which was a really silly error. But um, the route is uh, what I'm going to be concentrating on. His drive actually was a good drive. He only got uh, three faults. Um, so he's obviously looking out on the right and left and he's started to make progress. So again, coming out the test center, turning left. Remember, it's a 30, mile, 30 miles an hour speed limit. Um, and you would be expected to make progress um, up to 30 if it's safe to do so even on a rainy day like this if you can maintain your four second gap from the car in front and if it's deemed safe to do so do make sure that you make progress um, so you know anything between 27 to 30 would be acceptable we have obviously the speed cameras ahead and you need to make sure that you are not exceeding the speed limit here we have a bus stop as you can see so you can proceed through the bus stop Sometimes people make the error and they go around bus stops. So again, that is uh, not correct. You must make sure that you can go through a bus stop at any times. Um, it's just bus lanes you have to look out for uh, when it's in operation uh, and not. So you'll see as we're coming up to the traffic light, uh, there will be a signpost. It is covered a little bit by uh, the bushes. So um, just know it's there. Uh, I don't know how clear it will be on a rainy day like today, um, but make sure that you can see the Beddington Lane sign, um, which is at the traffic lights, it's turn left. Um, so as you get into Beddington Lane, obviously it is also a 30 miles an hour. Uh, there's no 20 around um, the Beddington Lane route side unless you go into some of the side roads. So the sign is just coming up here and you can pause it if you want to see the Beddington sign. Um, so he's processing, you know, proceeding along um, quite comfortably, keeping a good gap, um, seeing that it is raining. So just making progress. Remember, there's the tires and tarmac that I have uh, told him to keep. That's a good distance um, from the car in front. Always try and maintain tires and tarmac at all times. Uh, here, on a, you know, it's a good idea to put your handbrake up. Um, you can give your right foot a little break. Uh, you can also put it into neutral if you feel, uh, you know, it's safe to do so. Uh, there's no right or wrong here. It's all about whether you feel comfortable not being in gear. Um, so make sure you check your center, left mirror. There is a cycle lane on the left as you proceed. Um, there's the traffic light coming up just another bus stop and it's red light I think uh, no it's green light from what I saw so he's gonna proceed uh, there's a lot of water on the left so be careful on rainy days you do get the puddle that does actually um, you know and as you saw his steer wasn't bad but he did steer a little bit late on there so I would have given him a minor uh, for a little bit of um, oversteer towards the left so this is Beddington Lane um, as you can see uh, even from my previous videos when I talk about uh, here what happens is uh, when you're going along you want to make sure that you are making progress but at the same time you're safe because the road is very narrow uh, there will be trucks on the right uh, it's a drop curb on the left so be careful that you don't drive too close to uh, the actual curb because you might mount it and that would definitely be a fail um, without a doubt so 
Make sure you're driving center of your lane, looking out in your right and left mirror, easing off the gas as you're going past the bends. As you're going here, you'll see the traffic lights. It's a tram stop um, traffic light. So on the floor, there is the keep clear. To be honest, he's made an error here. He should have gone past the keep clear and stopped here because there is enough space for one car to actually fit there. Now, sometime uh, on this road, the examiners uh, have in the past asked the student to pull up on the left. Now, make sure when they ask you to pull up on the left, you find a suitable safe place uh, to park on the left as long as there's no yellow line, red line and so forth. You may park on the left, but do not mount the curb. I have seen someone mount the curb and you're like, and then I think to myself, that is completely wrong because you should never mount the curb because the examiner is just asking you to pull up somewhere safe. So at the roundabout, the examiner has asked to turn left. So make sure you check your right, uh, give a left signal on approach. When it's safe to do so, make the progress. As you're turning, make sure you're watching the curb and the road ahead. Check your center mirror and make progress accordingly. Now down this route, this road is very, very congested with lorries and vans because you've got a lot of, uh, you know, um, big lorries on the left and right. Um, the examiner could ask you to pull up on the left. Um, and as you're going along this road, make sure you're looking on the right. Uh, make sure you don't actually drive too close on uh, in the middle or towards the other side because that could be potential foul. Um, so over here, as you make progress, check both of your mirrors. And here, I think the examiner, um, no, here, the uh, lorry was coming. So therefore, the student has decided to pull in and let the lorry go, which is perfectly acceptable and the right thing to do. Uh, sometime, as you're going along here, there will be pedestrians, you know, one or two around, so be careful. This is his first pulling up on the left. So as he's done so, make sure you check your center mirror, left mirror, and you pull up by giving a signal. And then as you're moving off, remember your POM routine. So prepare your car, find the biting point, check your center, right mirror, over your right blind spot. If it's safe to do so, give a right signal, and then gas and proceed ahead. As you're going, make sure you check your center mirror and proceed accordingly as you're going down this road it's the same thing again you've got bus stops on the left you've got park vehicles and you've got um, other vehicles coming towards you now this is where the route will slightly change um, the student has decided to wait for the bus which is the right thing to do uh, obviously you've got a double decker bus coming through here it is a big vehicle um, and his position is a little bit off on the right he should have been more on the left and then controlling it with the clutch. Um, but again, uh, nothing that you would fail for, just make sure you are looking at the road and assessing uh, what needs to be done. So if a vehicle can't pass and you've stopped, then obviously check your left mirror and proceed uh, with caution. So at the roundabout, the examiner has said, at the roundabout, can you turn right? It's your second exit. So remember here, center mirror, right mirror, give a right signal. Maintain the middle position as you go past the first exit. Check your left mirror, give a left signal, position your car on the left hand side as he's done over here, and you can see the arrow and then make progress. Now, this bit is the new addition that I don't really have any videos for, and hence why I'm doing this video. Um, you'll see this is where the DPD depot is and the uh, Royal Mail depot. So, a lot of vehicles do go through here um, just for anybody who wants to know where this is as well it's behind of the actual pearly way the gym um, and you know where the uh, asda is on the other side of it so here are plenty of meeting to do make sure you're checking your right mirror your uh, left mirror before you proceed you can see the hazards here it's so like a hazard perception video now as we proceed along here keep on looking for places to, you know, lay bys as we call it, to pull in to allow other cars to go. So as you can see here, the drive over here, he's been driving well, um, no major mistakes yet. Uh, you will see the mistake 
uh, that he has done in the video and it is a very unfortunate mistake and one that can easily have been avoided and he would have passed today because his general drive as you can see from the video is not a bad drive at all uh, it's very competent he's pulling in at the right times checking his mirror at the right times um, making progress uh, on the road like this and it was wet so you know he's done well and you know you'll see in a minute where he actually uh, does fail now as we process uh, proceed over here you'll see that there's a lot of park lorries who are just you know shedding their load so be careful as and when you go around them give a signal where it's necessary um, so make sure you check your mirrors um, as you can see here he's pulled up to let this vehicle go which is correct there is another vehicle coming so he will check his mirrors again make sure you check your right mirror before proceeding out and then make progress um, quite a few vans on the left so maintain a meter from either side which is your normal driving position as we proceed here the examiner has asked him um, to follow the road ahead he's waiting for another vehicle so over here I think there might be another vehicle behind him hence why that car stopped uh, no so yes so here the examiner has asked him to pull up on the left and then he's going to be moving off when it's safe to do so so again like I said before make sure you check over your blind spot and then you move off when it's safe to do so uh, we're proceeding along here uh, this road leads towards where the furniture village is in Purley Way where the Sainsbury's is so you've got a fairly sharp bend here so make sure you are reducing your speed appropriately to make uh, to make um, safe progress now as we go along here um, we're going to come up towards the end of the road where there is two branches of the road one goes towards the left which is back towards the uh, Lombard roundabout and on the right it proceeds towards Purley Way and the back of Wadden. Now here the examiner did ask him to turn right and this is where the big mistake, his one serious mistake happens. So the examiner as he got nearby has asked him to turn right at the traffic light. Now you will see as he's proceeding along here um, it is very obvious that the traffic light is red so he moves over to the right, he gives the signal, he misses the actual stop line for the cycle bit and then he attempts to proceed uh, ahead at that point the examiner had to do break him and that was the end of his test and her fell um, again quite shocking that he didn't see the red light um, don't really understand why but he didn't see the red light and the examiner had to do break over there so for anybody who wants to rewind this and do a slow-mo on it uh, by all means uh, do so remember you must stop before the cycle lane you must not go over the cycle lane but he's done more he's gone over the cycle lane and he's actually attempted to go over the final stop line which is a complete no-no so here you'll see what the examiner uh, proceeds obviously the test will continue as the test continues uh, you are expected to continue as obviously you're doing your driving test um, and the route proceeds accordingly um, the rest of the route is fairly simple um, and you know you're welcome to have a look at it um, I'm going to sign off in terms of commentary from here um, so just remember guys uh, you will fail if you cross uh, the stop line as you can see in front of you the first stop line is the one you need to stop for if you go past that you know then you're in territories of examiners whether they want to pass you or not it's discretion uh, how you've done it and what you've done so they'll take all of that into consideration so make sure please look at the traffic lights and you will not fail uh, by you know because of not seeing a red light um, you know it was a very good drive uh, I think the student had about five minors some of them I've mentioned some of them could be mirrors um, and he should have passed um, and uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, he wasn't successful purely because of an observational error uh, on his part 
and uh, really sad to see that um, you know he didn't succeed. Um, so here, finally, you'll you'll see the examiner will say at the traffic lights, you are going uh, to turn left. Just a point to note here as well that someone else has previously failed here. You see, what happened was uh, the traffic light, as you can see, is red here. Now, when this turns green, what this previous student has done is they have turned and then the other side, obviously, traffic light was naturally red. So they stopped and thinking that it's their traffic light. So it's green here. As you turn here, you can see, look, you can see the red light and they thought that that was their traffic light and they suddenly stopped in the middle of the road. So again, guys, remember the traffic lights you are leaving, if that is green, then it is green for you all the way and you do not look at the other traffic light and think it's red and we need to stop for it. So just a few more pointers uh, that I've given you there. So guys, enjoy the video. Um, again, uh, many uh, good comments being left um, on online. And again, thank you for that. Um, do look at these videos and I will keep on trying my best to upload more when I can. Um, okay, thank you. Signing off now and enjoy the video.